In this week's Bleach, not much happens. Oh, really? Yeah, dude, it's fucking boring as shit! Bleach Chapter 574, Death in Vision, begins with a group of Shinigami noticing the large arena but also realizing Zaraki is in mid-battle on it and they predict that he will have certain victory. We got this, man! We got this by the ass! Zaraki notices that the kid already healed himself and he says all he had to do was imagine his wounds healed. Zaraki is not capable of accepting this ability. Everything that guy just says bullshit. The kid says people never understand the true extent of his power and he challenges him to come at full force because with his imagination he'll gut him from head to toe. Zaraki has got a better idea. With just two easy steps, I can climb over these seats and kick you right in the fucking balls! The kid makes lava appear and asks Zaraki where he possibly could have gotten it from. Don't ask stupid questions. Zaraki is enticed as he says he can't hate things he doesn't understand and cuts through the lava, noticing Yachiru is still there. Get the fuck out of here! Kid tells him about how her bones are now cookies and any movement can kill her. His explanation really starts to annoy Zaraki. Shut up! Everyone just shut the f*** up! A large water cube appears, trapping Zaraki inside. The kid then opens up a crevice in the ground and drops him inside. See you around, bitch. He thinks he'll be contained, but the structure explodes with Zaraki emerging with Yachiru, who seems to be better now that his focus is primarily on him. And that's the end of the chapter. That was so terrible, I think you gave me cancer! I did not like this chapter at all. I don't like where this is going. Once again, I feel like not a goddamn thing happened. It's just more of Zaraki trying to understand how he could face someone who's just as overpowered as he is. But there's hardly any fighting going on. I can't call this an awesome battle when all it's filled with is exposition. I expect a great clash of power, but all I get is this exchange of words. What the fuck is this? I'm sorry if this seems over the top. If some of you disagree and think this fight has been awesome so far, that's terrific. It's only been two chapters, so... I guess it's bound to get better. The only thing that I found interesting was the small part when the Shinigami noticed before the fight they couldn't sense Zaraki's spiritual pressure, and now they can. This has got me thinking that he's possibly on the same level as Ichigo when he left the Dungai. It was something sort of interesting, but honestly by the end all I could think was, OH MY GOD! WHO CARES?! So I give this chapter a 3 out of 10. More jabbering between the kid and Zaraki, imagination can basically do whatever the fuck he wants, but we may have found out that Zaraki is possibly on the same level as Dungai Ichigo. For my question of the week, how the fuck can Zaraki beat this kid? He can heal himself after attacks and he basically goes untouched. Even if Zaraki's Shikai name is revealed, I'm not sure how that's going to help him. My favorite comments will be featured in the next review, here are last week's winners. That does it for me. Remember to leave your thoughts on the chapter and answer to my question in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more weekly Bleach chapter reviews and follow me over at Twitter or DeviantArt. Links always in the description. I'll be back next week, hopefully with some actual fighting. Peace. Peace.